Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial of OpenFoam. Today I'm gonna show you how to simulate a flow around cylinder. This is my second tutorial in this topic. So I'll uh, visualize the results to show you what I'm gonna explain in this case. So I'll run PowerFoam. So here we have the mesh. So we're gonna see together how to do uh, in order to uh, to define the blocks here around the cylinder and also to generate mesh like this one in my case. Okay. And also, I've already run the simulation. So I show you the results that you uh, could visualize at the end of this tutorial. So by you, okay, and then, so this will be the animation of velocity when the flow hits the cylinder. So this will be the case of today. So we're going to see together how to do the mesh at first using block mesh dict. Then uh, we will see how to uh, set up our case in order to get this result. Okay. So, so here is our case. So we have in system block mesh dict and I've uh, copied this file to block mesh dict draft and we will uh, create our where we will create our uh, block mesh dict line by line okay so uh, I'll open the mesh the blocks okay apply so here we have the blocks of our geometry so we have here how many block we have six blocks here this is the first block the pre block the vertices of this block will be assigned here then this is the bottom uh, block the left top right blocks and here we have the post block so we will go uh, point by point we will assign the vertices of this the vertices of uh, composing this geometry so I'll show the grid okay so here we have the grid in order to get the coordinate of our geometry so we will start by zero so at zero it's uh, x hour our x is equal to minus zero point Zero point twenty five. It doesn't appear because it's float. I'll uh, modify this just a second. So I'll keep it. I won't convert uh, to. I want to uh, execute this now for convert to meter. So let me do this. Block mesh. It will update my mesh. Then perform. Sorry, perform block in order to visualize the blocks. Block, okay. Apply, and here I have data access grid. So here I have minus 25 in this point and minus 10 in the x direction. I'm, I'm saying the coordinates of x of my block. So here I have minus 25, minus 10, 10 and 65. 
for the y I have from minus 10 to 10 and for 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 sorry for the z direction uh, we are working on 2d simulation so for the z uh, we will assume that is one cell thick and z will be uh, <coughs> will be included between minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so let's start now so these are the vertex numbering that we have here so we want to produce the same thing in our uh, in our block mesh draft block mesh dict draft Okay, let's start with this block, which is named the pre. Uh, we name it uh, pre pre block. So this is the pre block. So for the f the vertex zero, vertex zero. Where is the vertex zero? It's here. Vertex number zero. So the coordinate of this vertex is. Uh, minus 10 in x the y direction minus uh, sorry minus 25 in uh, the x direction minus 10 in the y direction then it's minus so zero is here so z is equal to 0 0.5 okay then vertex one we have it is here so the x of this value is minus 10 the y is minus 10 and it's 0 0.5 this is vertex one the third point it's identified here uh, the 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 third yes but it's number two 0, 1, 2, so number, vertex number 2 is here so the x value is minus 10 the, uh, the y value is minus 10 and the z value is minus 0 0.5 so this is vertex 2 and for vertex 3 we have minus 25 in x direction minus 10 in the y direction and minus 0 0.5 in the z direction so this will be vertex 3 okay then Then the other vertices composing our composing our uh, our geometry, our block. So here we have. I'll try to do this and see. No. Oh. Okay. So. I hope you can see it because it's written in pink with the red it doesn't appear really clearly so for the vertex 4 we uh, it is here the vertex 4 so its coordinate is minus 25 in the x direction then it's 10 and it's 0 0.5 this is vertex 4 uh, for the uh, vertex 5 it's minus 10 minus 10 and 0 0.5 vertex 5 uh, vertex 6 it's here so it's minus 10 10 
minus 10, 10, minus 0 0.5, vertex 6. And 7, vertex number 7, it's minus 25, 10, and minus 0 0.5, vertex 7. So here we have all, uh, we defined all the vertices uh, of the block, the pre-block, the first block. So now we are going to move to the second block, which is this block in green, which is the bottom block, the bottom block of the, the obstacle. So we will uh, consider that this is a square, not a cylinder. Then we will define this edge as an arc with an interpolation uh, point. So let's do So let's do this. Okay, we have this point 1 2 already assigned. So for the bottom uh, the vertices 1 and 2 we have already we have them here then we have uh, 8 and 9 10 11 12 and 13 okay so for the 8 and 9 for the 8 here it's 10 here okay x is 10 and y it's minus 10 then So I write them for the vertex 8, it's 10 in x direction, minus 10 in y direction, then 0 0.5 in z direction, and the vertex 8. Vertex 9, uh, it's the same coordinates for x and y, but with z equal to minus 0, 5, vertex 9. So now we will assign the vertex number 10. Okay. So here we have the vertex 10, 11. Because we are considering, in fact, why we are numbering our vertices so. Because we will uh, assign this block like this. 1, 2, 1, 2, 9, 8. And then, uh, and then 10, 11, 12. 13. Okay, so this will be the order of our faces and also will be the order of our block. It will go uh, in this way like 1, 2, 8, 1, 8, 9, 2, and 10, 11, 12, 13, which will uh, compose our block of bottom of green color. Okay, so now how uh, we could get the coordinate of this point? And this point so it's all about trigonometry I have already this so I'll open it using color pants in order to explain how to calculate the distance so here we have square we have here 20 centimeter okay then here we have our cylinder so uh, our cylinder is of diameter 5 then the center of our geometry is here the coordinate 0 0 0 so this distance is what we need and it's the same as this one this one and this one so we have We have this angle is equal to 45 degrees. This distance is the radius equal to 2.5 centimeter. So to calculate this distance, it's very simple. So we are calculating the sinus of 45 is equal to this distance 
I'll name it x divided by the radius. So if you uh, do the calculation, you will get x equal to 1.767766953. Okay, so let's return to our power view. And here I need to assign the vertex number 10. This is the vertex number 10. So for its x value from here, the x value of this will be minus this, uh, the calculated value. Okay, I'll copy it from here. And the y also will be the same, minus this value, then it's in 0, 5. This will be vertex one, vertex tensor. Okay, then 10, 11. So 11, here we are moving in X. X is, uh, is bigger than zero. So we will have positive value. Here it's the positive value. Then the Y is minus the calculated value z it's 0 0.5 then vertex 11 and here we have uh, 12 12 it's the same as 11 i'll copy the same line it's the same as 11 the only uh, the only difference is in z so i'll put here minus 0 0.5 and here will be 12 and for uh, 13, 13, it's the same as the 10, the vertex 10, except for the Z coordinate, I'll modify it to minus 0, 5, because the, the vertex 13, it appears in the back of the block. You can see it, it's in the back, so it's at Z equal to minus 0, 5. So now let's move to the other block, which is we assigned all uh, all the vertices that appears in the block in green. So now let's move to the other block, which is the block of left. So the left, this is this one. So we have already uh, the the point, the vertices one, two, five, six, ten, thirteen. It's already defined. So we have to uh, define 14 and 15 here. So the vertex 14. So here it's negative value of X. Sorry. I copy it from the calculator. It's minus the calculated value. Then the Y is positive value. Then here it's 0 0.5 and it's in comment vertex. This is 13. This is vertex 14. Okay. And for vertex 15, it's the same with different Z. So I copy the same coordinates with a negative value in the Z direction. So now we will move to the other block, which is top. So top is in yellow here. We have already uh, the uh, vertices five and six, 14 and 15. So we will define uh, the other vertices, 16, 17 and 18, 19. Okay. So for 16, so here in top, Sixteen. So here we have x. Uh, the value is positive in x and y. I hope it's clear because uh, we are in this point, so it's uh, bigger than zero. Here we have the center, so it's the positive value. Positive. Uh, the positive value. Yes, it's plus the val the calculated value. 
Okay, so it's one point. Same for Y, then for Z, it's 0 0.5 vertex 16. And same for vertex 17, it's the same coordinate except for Z, it's minus 0 0.5. Then we have here 18 and 19. So 18 and 19. So x in uh, 18, it's 10. Y also, it's Ten. Then Z it's zero point five. This is vertex eighteen. Then uh, vertex nineteen. It's the same ten ten, but Z it's minus zero point five because it appears in the the back of the block. So vertex nineteen and. Here we have uh, 16, 17. We already defined these points in, in the right block. Also, we defined all the uh, vertices that appears in the block in pink, the block of right. So now what we need to do is to add the, the, uh, the, the vertices of the post block, this block. So we defined already the the, uh, the vertices 8 and 9 that appears in this block, also 18 and 19. So the remaining vertices are 20, 21 and 22, 23. So here, so for the right block, it's already all the vertices, I, I, uh, all the vertices are already defined and the post block here i have the vertex the vertex uh, 20 so i have the x equal to 65 the y is minus 10 then 0 0.5 this is vertex 20 and the same for 21 it's 65 minus 10 minus 0, 0.5 vertex 21 and 22 uh, it's 65 10 in the y direction then 0 0.5 vertex 22 then in the uh, ver in the 23 it's 65 10 in the y direction, then it's minus 0, 5. And here we are, we have all the vertices defined in vertices section. Okay, so now we need to uh, go and assign our blocks. So here in the blocks, we are uh, looking at the first block, which is the pre-block here. So it's composed of the vertices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And for the gradient, so the x direct will be divided on 60, 60 cells. Then uh, the y direction is divided on 30. Then the z direction will be uh, remained as one cell thick. So uh, as you can remark here that we have an inversion of the direction Z with the uh, direction Y and this is due to the numbering of vertices that we did in order to compose our block because we didn't uh, choose this for example here going 0, 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7 but we did 0, 1, 2, 3 so in this case, this will be the X, this will be the Y, and this will be the Z. So this is why we are, uh, we are inversing the Z with the Y in uh, dividing our domain. And for the obstacle here, we are, uh, we have this, the, the first block, which is bottom. 
so bottom here so bottom is one eight nine two then here this face is 10 11 12 and 13 and we are dividing uh, we are dividing uh, the uh, 30 in the x direction 30 in the y direction and uh, one cell in the z direction so the same for the other blocks the top the bottom uh, the uh, the left and the right and for the post block also it's the same idea we are dividing this on uh, 180 in the x direction and 30 in the y direction okay so now in the uh, edges how we are assigning arcs so we are choosing here uh, we choose points like we have square in the uh, middle of our geometry and not a cylinder so now we need to to make this edge an arc so uh, to do so we are choosing the point from 10 to 11 so from this point to this point and we will tell block mesh dict this is an arc this is actually is not a line this is an arc and this is the interpolation point that you should consider okay so the uh, the interpolation point will be here i'll draw it in the paint so the uh, interpolation point is here actually it's in 0 minus 2.5 and 0 0.5 of the, uh, the z direction it it depends just on the front and back doesn't uh, matter so the important is in the x and y direction so here we have an arc also here also here and here in the front and also in the back so we have eight arcs with eight uh, interpolation points in order to convert the cube that we have in the center of our geometry to cylinder so now the boundaries so now we defined all our uh, blocks vertices and the blocks so our uh, the inlet is here this will be the inlet okay the faces Composing the inlets, it's 0, 4, 7, 3. Then the outlets, it's here. So this is the outlets. It's 20, 21, 23, and 22. Then for the walls, uh, just need to choose all the, the other faces. This this face this one and this one and also here this one this one and this one it will be six so yes we have six faces in the wall and the obstacle for the obstacle we have also we have four faces so we need to uh, choose this face this face this one and this one so it's four faces that define the obstacle and for the front and the back of course we will choose all these faces in the front and also in the back so this is all for the block mesh uh, dict and how it is uh, constructed so let's now move to the simulation of uh, of our case. So here we have the pressure inlet, outlet, wall, obstacle. We are we are not uh, imposing any pressure in the inlet. So here we are choosing our Reynolds number equal to our Reynolds number equal to 180 
So if you do the calculation using uh, using a viscosity of air, so here we have viscosity of air equal to 1.5 uh, 10 minus 5. So by doing the calculation and uh, considering the diameter equal to uh, to 5 centimeter. So sorry, I forget something about the mesh and the draft. So here we have all the coordinates in uh, in centimeter. In order to convert it to meter, we need to do this in the first line convert to meters. Okay. So considering that we have uh, the diameter equal to five centimeter and Reynolds number equal to one hundred eighty, we can calculate the velocity here. And it's 0 0.054. So we choose, uh, we choose the turbulence. It's laminar. We can delete these lines. Okay. Then here, the solver is simple foam. And I'll write interval each 100 steps and it will end at 10,000 iterations. Okay, so I'll run the simulation here by running simple foam. But first I need to run my mesh, the block mesh. Generate the mesh, then uh, simple foam so it took a while to arrive to 10,000 iterations uh, here I'll run power foam apply Visualize velocity. I'm chasing. I'm choosing the another color, jet color. Okay. And here we are. So this is our case. Okay. So I'll save an animation. Save animation. I'll name it A. Okay. With weight background. Okay. So I think my animation is ready. Here it is. It's very slow, you can speed it up by choosing here, save animation and name it B, white background and frame rate, I choose five, then okay. It will be much faster than the first animation. So it's ready, it's here. So yes. It's faster than the first one. And it clearly illustrates the behavior of the flow when it hits the cylinder at Reynolds equal to uh, 180. So this is all for this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't hesitate to uh, keep comments under this video if you have a question or uh, other remarks. So thank you again and see you in next video.